A project that we are going to make today has got many names. You may call this a mosquito killer racket or mosquito bait or bug zapper racket. Its only purpose is to kill the mosquitoes, flies and other insects. It's a completely DIY homemade mosquito or insect killer. The front part is just like the mosquito killer racket and everything else is completely different. It has got a door on the back side which can be opened and closed. I will explain this in detail. Why I added this door, it could be a solid box but there is a reason behind it which I will explain in a minute. The circuit I am using for generating high voltages directly operates on 110 or 220 volt AC. I didn't use any transformer and there are no complicated connections. I will also share with you a very simple technique that you can use to generate high voltages of your choice. To check the performance and to see if it can really kill the mosquitoes, flies and other insects, I decided to keep it on for the entire night. It has passed all the initial tests and I'm sure it's going to kill these blood sucking small creatures. I'm going to check this in the morning. It's 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm going to check if it has killed some mosquitoes or other insects. Before I'm going to start with the inspection, first I'm going to turn off the supply and next I'm going to short the two meshes to discharge the capacitors as I don't want to get a shock. Once the capacitors are discharged then the steel wire meshes are safe to touch. I already can see some mosquitoes and it means this device is working great. This is such a low cost and easy to build mosquito killer machine which can be built by anyone with some basic knowledge of electronics. I must warn you, wear protective gloves while working on such a high voltage system and keep it away from children and other people. Anyways, you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. For building the box, I temporarily fixed the electric circular saw and a jack saw on a hardboard sheet which helped me in cutting the hardboard sheet to the desired lengths without going to the shop which saved me money and time. I am really thankful to all those boys and girls who are supporting me on Patreon. With your support, I purchased these electric tools and other electronics components. is ready and next I'm going to start working on the two meshes. I'm using these two different steel wire meshes. These two steel wire meshes need to be electrically isolated. For this I'm going to make a separator out of this thin sheet. My mesh separator is ready. Next I am going to cut this steel wire mesh and will attach it to the separator using hot glue. My first mesh with the separator is ready. Now I will do the same for the other mesh. As you can see the two meshes are ready. The separator will be sandwiched between the two steel wire meshes. This way the two meshes will not touch. You can check this through a continuity test using a digital multimeter. No beep means everything is fine and a beep means that the two meshes are short which is not good. My mesh is ready and now let's take a look at the mosquito killer circuit diagram. 
This is the high voltage mosquito killer circuit diagram which only consists of capacitors and diodes. This is basically a voltage multiplier circuit which gives a high voltage of around 1860 volts. As a general rule of thumb multiply the total number of capacitors with the voltage and then divide it by 2 and you get the output voltage. As per this circuit the capacitor voltage is 630 volts and we have a total of 6 capacitors so the output voltage is equal to 630 times 6 and this is equal to 3780 we divide it by 2 and we get the output voltage which is around 1890 volts so the output of this mosquito killer circuit is around 1890 volts this circuit consists of these three sections if you want to increase the output voltage then you can add another section if you want to learn more about this circuit then read my article available on electronicclinic.com you can find a link in the description I soldered all the capacitors and diodes as per the circuit diagram the two wires on the left side are going to be connected with the 220 volt AC when the wires are connected with the 110 or 220 volt AC supply don't touch this circuit otherwise it can be really dangerous and such high voltage can kill you so always wear protective gloves the two wires on the right side are the output wires which we will connect with the two steel wire meshes so let's go ahead and check this circuit great the circuit is working and you can see the sparks when I touch the two wires one more thing that I would like to talk about is that even when you disconnect the main supply you will get a strong electric shock because the capacitors remain charged until you touch the two wires to discharge the capacitors so make sure first you discharge the capacitors before you touch the wires capacitors or diodes next step is to connect this circuit with the two meshes here are the two meshes I'm going to connect these output wires with the two steel wire meshes so my circuit is connected I have already connected the input wires with the 220 volt AC the capacitors are charged so if I'm going to short the two meshes you will see a spark while the 220 volt AC is connected never touch the meshes anyways as you can see so far everything is working just fine I fixed the circuit inside the box and over here I will connect the two wires of the bulb. My whole setup is completed, the bulb is fixed, the wires are connected and now it's ready for its initial testing. I put some sugar and a small piece of meat to attract some flies, mosquitoes and other insects. Is I had told you in the beginning that this door has a purpose I'm going to open the door and put this plate inside the box I'm sure the sugar and meat will attract flies mosquitoes and other insects the only entrance is through these two meshes which will burn the flies and mosquitoes to ashes as this mosquito killer machine deals with high voltages so that's why I decided to check this during the night time when nobody is around and I also informed everyone personally not to touch this box anyways the blue light looks so cool and the whole system looks like a decoration piece I love these sparks and the sound it makes when I shot two meshes seriously I could do it for hours but I had to stop as I had to kill some mosquitoes the next morning I could see dead bodies of some mosquitoes hanging with the steel wire meshes and I was really happy because it did its job it's very environment friendly as no chemicals are used it has zero side effects but it needs to be placed at some height so that nobody can touch the box so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode 
like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching